Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist TJ Del Santo with an update for you. We are looking at the uh, snow ending, but we now have sleet and uh, some rain, and we're expecting some heavy rain as we go through the morning on Sunday. Take a look at the snowfall report so far. Chapach at three and a half inches. Cumberland, 3.4. West Warwick, a little more than two. Here in East Providence, I measured 1.3. Bristol had a measurement of 1.0, although I saw another measurement of just a dusting there in Bristol. At uh, TF Green Airport, 0 0.9 inches, that's as of midnight. I'm estimating they probably had close to two inches total by the time they switched over to some rain. Live Doppler radar, we're looking at all kinds of precipitation here. We got some heavy rain across parts of New Bedford and the Fall River Way. Meanwhile, we're still looking at a uh, light snow falling up there in Smithfield, but eventually we are going to be looking at uh, some milder air working its way in from the south. That should switch everything over to all rain. Winter weather advisory continues through the morning into the afternoon. Flood watch for areas in Providence on off to the south and east as well. Now we have a minor coastal flooding possibility as well. Coastal flood advisory for south coast of Rhode Island around Narragansett Bay. And uh, and hey, we got Pete, Pete Mangione's here as well. One uh, 1.5 in Providence. 1.5 inches. You can add that to the tally. We'll Not add raining. that right now. 1.5 for right. Providence in the city. All right. Sorry to interrupt. I'll let uh, you get back to it, TJ. All right. Uh, yeah, we have minor coastal flooding expected. Uh, between 5 and 10 a.m., right around the time of high tide. Let's go through the hour-by-hour hour forecast here, and here we are around 8 o'clock in the morning. There still might actually be a little tiny bit of snow, perhaps, in northwest Rhode Island. That's normal. Tends to get uh, The cold air tends to hang around there a little bit longer. But as we go through the morning, notice how we're turning over to all rain across Rhode Island, and perhaps a heavy rain. Could be looking at some street flooding, poor drainage flooding, wherever those... Um, uh, heavier snow amounts were and the snow plows came by tend to clog up the uh, um, storm drain. So we are looking at the possibility for some uh, standing water on area roads. If you have a storm drain in front of your house, it wouldn't be a bad idea to check on it and make sure it's not clogged up. Most of the precipitation is done by uh, late afternoon and early evening. How much snow are we talking about? Again, most of this already realized. Two to four inches. Northern Rhode Island, one to two inches. South coast of uh, Rhode Island and Massachusetts. That's before the changeover to sleet and freezing rain. Look, just looking at the snow reports here. Again, Chapach at 3.5, Cumberland 3.4. Forecast did pretty well. Uh, so here's the timeline from now to uh, uh, probably about uh, six, seven o'clock in the morning. Got sleet and freezing rain turning over to all rain. And up to three o'clock, still look at the possibility of some heavy rain. Uh, here in Rhode Island, 3 to 5 p.m., precipitations winding down, then the temperatures plummet, and any moisture on area roadways will be freezing over. Power outage potential, this is interesting. We're still looking at the best chance for power outages, southern Rhode Island, over into maybe Westport and out toward uh, Cape Cod and the islands, and not for icing. It's more to do with the wind. Take a look at some of these wind gusts. 1 o'clock, 48, 50 mile an hour perhaps along the south coast. Over on uh, Cape Cod, maybe some gusts, 40, 50, maybe even 60 miles an hour before it's all said and done. That's why we're looking at the potential for some uh, power outages. It'll still be windy Sunday night, but the winds will be dying down a little bit. Take a look at these rainfall totals. Uh, two to maybe three and a half inches in some spots. That's why we're looking at the possibility for some street flooding across southern New England. Then let's take a look at the uh, wind chills for Monday morning. Boy, oh boy, 10 to 15 degrees below zero. Very uncomfortable uh, way to start the day and really throughout the entire day on Monday. So that's what we're looking at right now. Again, Pete Mangione's here. He's going over the latest information. And he'll have updates for you throughout the morning. Hope you have a great Sunday.